What's up, fellow flippers? We have a new update for the tracking spreadsheet. Amazon changed the format. So I pulled some old data just for kicks. I got some stuff from 2018. So if you're on version 3.3, which is our most recent, and you go to grab your sales data and paste it in at the bottom of your sales data, got really fun old data. I'll show you something fun in a second. But you go to paste it and you scroll over and take a peek and you notice that the columns don't line up. Amazon added two new columns and they are, I don't believe they're for the US, but they're there. They're probably for the good old EU. We got a regulatory fee and a tax on regulatory fee because everything gets taxed. Why not? In the US, those numbers should be straight zeros. Maybe that'll come into play later. My hunch is it is internationally based, but Amazon has sort of simplified all their sales reports. So they're the same across countries, which is cool for us. Unfortunately, it means we have to tweak the spreadsheet. So you have a couple of options. One, go ahead and delete that when you notice it. What you can do is come in here and right next to gift wrap credits, if you just wanna leave your own spreadsheet alone, highlight the next two columns, insert, and then you can grab their two headers and then copy and paste those into yours or you can leave them alone. We're gonna do values only so it matches the format. Now, when you come back in and grab that sales report, you can copy come down here to the nearest empty line, paste, and everything will line up. And again, because these are zero values, it's not gonna hurt anything. You don't have to rerun your old sales analysis and everything will run just like normal. If you don't wanna mess with the spreadsheet, that's fine. You can transfer your data from 3.3 to 3.4. However, when you do that, you're gonna be still copying from a, a section that has two fewer columns. So this data now, we've made a new spreadsheet. 3.4 and you can go ahead and paste into here and it will line up. So that's all good to go. It's really easy to run new sales reports. I think you can run for a year at a time. So you, if you've been in business three years, it would just be three reports on Seller Central. That's just gonna be the payments report like you're, like you're used to using. Make sure you do grab your listing data. Anything in green is something where you're going to be um, entering the data. So if you do wanna to kind of transition your data over, make sure you do pull all of those over to 3.4. So for those of you buying the spreadsheet now, it will be 3.4. There shouldn't be anything you have to do. It should just work. If you were on 3.3, then probably the easiest is to just add two columns to the right of the gift wrap credits tax and then just carry on with your life the way it is. So that's the updates. 3.4 will be available in Gumbrug. We'll put a we'll put an update out. And if you've purchased it in the past, you should get that notification as well. And like I said, something fun. I used to do my SKUs back in 2014. I used to do the SKUs on a roll of tickets. So like raffle tickets. And the way I did is I just put them on the shelves in the order of the ticket and the SKU was simply the five digit ticket. I call it a poor man's ticketing system. And uh, it was kind of fun to go back and look. I don't even want to see what shipping cost back then because I'm sure it was way cheaper than it is today. So that's my story. Uh, that's how to adjust your tracking spreadsheet. And if you're not using the tracking spreadsheet, why not? It's going to help you make much better decisions about your business. Peace.